Has ancient alien technology finally been discovered within Russia? According to several talented UFO enthusiasts, along with a number of scientists, that is exactly what has happened. A team from Princeton University in America and the University of Florence in Italy have discovered a quote, quasi-crystal, so named because of its unorthodox arrangement of atoms, found within a meteorite from a remote region of northeastern Russia. This crystal, long thought impossible to be formed naturally due to being too energetically unstable and atomically manipulated. When the team discovered that the meteorite contained this mysterious, ancient, intelligently designed material, they merely moved the goalposts, simply stating that it can indeed be formed naturally. Technically, scientists describe quasi-crystals as quasi-periodic, being manually ordered, no longer found on the periodic table. Although they exhibit a pattern that fills all available mass continuously, they lack what scientists and mathematicians term translational symmetry. Simply put, they are not naturally occurring materials. The meteorite in which it was found is believed to be around 4.5 billion years old. Yet alas, when it picked up this perplexing and possibly alien passenger may remain unknown. UFO enthusiasts and scientists alike have previously hypothesized that evidence for alien life would, in all possibility, be found in a form such as this. Pointing out that quasi-crystals, being a novel form of matter, should actually be seen as artifacts of alien artificially created technology. No one has ever been able to explain how quasi-crystals can be formed by natural processes, and no one is ever likely to. It just does not happen. Their forbidden symmetry, making them impossible to be formed naturally. The only other known quasi-crystals, besides those found in the Chukotka meteorites, were only recently synthesized within laboratory conditions by scientists. Being very hard, with low friction characteristics, also a low heat conduction, quasi-crystals are a very useful product, used in a wide range of high-speed technologies, such as the coatings of airplanes and stealth fighters. Two-time Nobel Prize winner Linus Pauling, the idol of the American Chemical Society and one of the most famous scientists in the world, argued till his last days against quasi-periosity in Crystal's mere existence. He didn't even believe we would ever manage to create it. Does this sound like a naturally occurring material to you? How did this complex material end up on and within an ancient meteorite? Did this lump of space debris once collide with an alien craft, somewhere out there in deep space? It seems, regardless of what certain scientific bodies would have you presume, that is indeed the most likely scenario.
Many of you may remember a video we shared in the past referring to an incredibly peculiar formation that seemingly sprung up in the middle of an incredibly dense yet extremely remote forest landscape in a nearly inaccessible location within Siberia. As if something is boring into the Earth, whatever is causing it, impervious to the elements of our planet. We postulated that it could have been an ancient probe, one that perhaps out of misfortune for those who may have sent it, perhaps once on a set bearing, yet due to it hitting our planet's atmosphere, is now burying itself into our planet. But I digress. What many of you may also remember is the Simchen meteorite impact, which surprised Russia and astronomers the world over, making a surprise entry into our atmosphere back in 2013, creating an atmospheric explosion over the city of Chelyabinsk, so powerful it shattered windows for miles around. However, what we feel is the most interesting factor regarding this event was not its surprise entry into our atmosphere, but what the so-called meteorite has been video recorded doing. Seen levitating on this camera footage, lifting an extremely heavy and secure glass case clean off of its seal. An action claimed as impossible by the curators at the exhibit. The only possible way to remove this seal would be to press a trigger which is in a secure unit under CCTV protection 24 hours of the day. It has not only baffled conspiracy theorists, but also the staff responsible for the display of the enigmatic stone itself. Furthermore, in a video we shared regarding the strange cigar-shaped object which barreled past our Earth in 2017, the first interstellar object we have ever recorded, known as Oumuamua, this claimed meteorite was also claimed by others in the same prestigious positions to have been nothing of the sort. Rumors and hypothesis, after in-depth scans and analysis, were put forward these claiming that it was, in fact, an unimaginably old, now stone-like in appearance, possible alien research probe. Clearly, these objects would be made from unimaginably durable materials. Materials strong enough to survive the entry and crash landing onto the planet, for example. We find this circumstantial evidence alluring. It would support our initial posit a few years ago regarding the object boring into the Earth in Siberia and the stone-like appearance and possible alien origins of Oumuamua, which we and others put forward in 2017, and of course, the so-called yet levitating Russian meteorite. Could this Russian meteorite somehow be attempting to escape its enclosure? Could we have witnessed evidence of an anti-gravity force at work? we find the possibilities highly compelling. A few years ago, it was revealed that a small meteorite discovered within Sri Lanka may in all possibility contain the fossilized remains of legitimate alien life. Fossils of animals that originate from a very different place within our vast universe to anything we have ever witnessed. Minutes after a large fireball was seen by a number of people over Sri Lanka on 29 December 2012, a large meteorite disintegrated in the sky, falling into the village of Arganwila. The retrieved meteorite was then sent for studies at the Buckingham Centre for Astrobiology and Cardiff University, both within the UK. It has since been noted that the general characteristics of the meteorite bear a striking similarity to those that fell over Denmark on January 17, 2009. This meteorite was identified as arising from an extinct cometary fragment within the Torrid complex. It has thus been associated with comet Enki. In the early part of this century, it was declared that fossils found within the meteorite center did indeed appear to be authentic remnants of the first alien life officially discovered here on Earth. However, predictably, the investigations were stonewalled by skeptics, stating that the fossils were nothing but mere contamination which had occurred here on Earth. 
Since then, although public interest has fizzled out, a tremendous amount of research has been undertaken in an attempt to establish the fossil's true origins and ultimate authenticity. This research has resulted in a detailed report reviewed and published within the Journal of Cosmology with an opening statement as follows. We report the discovery, for the first time, of diatom frustules in a carbonaceous meteorite that fell in the north-central province of Sri Lanka on 29 December 2012. Roughly translated, this means that we have officially discovered fossilized alien life. It continues, Contamination is excluded by the circumstance that the elemental abundances within the structures match closely with those of the surrounding matrix. There is also evidence of structures morphologically similar to red rain cells, which may have contributed to the episode of red rain that followed in the days after the meteorite's entry. The new data on fossil diatoms provide strong evidence to support the theory of cometary panspermia." End quote. Panspermia is the theory that life is spread throughout the universe upon meteorites. Mass catastrophe occurs upon a life-rich planet. The event sending fragments of the planet, each containing the seeds of life, deep into space. These seeds then float across space. Some, like a seed from a tree caught on the breeze, may be lucky enough to land in a location capable of sustaining them, thus spreading life throughout the cosmos. It is a theory relative to the spread of life which is seen from seeds on the wind. Reports of microfossil discoveries in meteorites have a long and complicated history. Early claims of microfossils and carbonaceous meteorites by Klaus and Nagy in 1961 were quickly dismissed as contaminants. Pollen grains were often mistakenly attributed to microfossils. However, this new study, and the evidence thereof, is now undeniable. And although these tiny creatures are so small they cannot be seen by the naked eye, they harbor the power to impact all of our perceptions about our universe in a profound way. They will inevitably shape our Earth, and indeed acceptance of the fact that we are, officially, not alone.